before we get into anything else, let's review two components of the recent tax and business-related measures passed by the Senate, likely to be passed by the House and expected to receive the President's signature this week. Within the bill is an effort to provide some ease with VA appraisals. The details are very specific, so I encourage anyone who is interested to look them up online. Also, for our automotive-related economy, the tax credits for purchasing electric vehicles, or EVs, has been extended through 2032. Next, let's look at what has occurred with real estate since the 75 basis point rise in rates by the Fed. First, let's remember that the talk was a 75 basis point or 0.75% increase was expected with some talk of 100 basis points or a full 1% rise in rates. However, it is also important to remember rate increases are not directly related to mortgage rates. So today, from their high of just under 6% in June, they are now below 5%, having declined consistently since the Fed rate announcement. That is great news with industry experts expecting that the decline in rates along with more moderate increase in home prices has kept affordability stable. What we are seeing in the actual market data is that pending sales reported for the last two weeks are down 14.7% across Wayne, Macomb, St. Clair, and Oakland counties. However, at the same time, the absorption rate at which anything above 18.3% is a seller's market is projected to be at 32.2%. You may also recall that Dr. Lawrence Yun commented that for wages to keep up with price growth, the absorption rate needed to be at 25% or lower. Bottom line, buyers need to buy now, and for those discouraged by the lack of inventory several months ago, the number of homes for sale across our market area is the highest it has been since March of 2020. So get out that list of prospects who said they would wait and get on the phone. For those of you working with sellers on average, while sales data is showing similar numbers to last year, the inventory has grown with a third more for sale than last year, and by an additional 75% since March of this year. So while demand remains high, the conditions that made waiving inspections, et cetera, common exist no longer. Starting the 24th of August, you will be receiving messages from Michigan Realtors encouraging you to vote for MR District Directors. The link they will provide will require you to have your M1 or NERDS number, which you can get by going to the GPBR website. If uncertain, which district you are in, the MR website, you ha will have a locator for, for you into which you can put your home address. It will then identify which district you are in and if you can vote for a candidate. While there are 14 districts, only six seats are up for election. The two candidates we are supporting are David Kimbrough from Detroit, who is the treasurer of the North Oakland Board in District 13, which includes all of the gross points in Harper Woods, and our own David Claff for District 10, which includes most of Macomb County and all of Rochester, Rochester Hills. Please plan on supporting both candidates if allowed to vote. If you've not found the time to attend one of our networking events, you may want to get one on your schedule. They are well attended, have no specific script, which then gives you an opportunity to turn competitors into colleagues. This Friday the 12th is our roundtable luncheon at the board office. Sign up as needed so we know how many to feed. The morning of the 18th is our coffee pop-up at the Sugar Bar on Fisher in Gross Point Farms. The 26th is live entertainment, great food and beverages at the Country Club of Detroit in support of our pack in between 4 and 7 p.m. The 31st is our membership meeting at the Gross Point Yacht Club. At the meeting, we will be discussing the current market with industry experts. We also will be announcing your 2022 Realtor of the Year and we'll have our normal assortment of raffle prizes and winners. On September 1st is another of our networking happy hours, this time at the Bricks in Gross Point Park. Our annual golf outing is Monday the 12th. Please, if it is sold out, let us know if you would have attended had space been available. We have been trying to determine if we need to start considering a larger venue, and unless you let us know, the best we can do is guess. With that, let's call it a day. Until next week, be productive, successful, and profitable, and as always, be safe.